Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the first episode of Yudu Camp. So, this series, I believe this is a comedy slice of life series about a girl who enjoys going camping by herself and then one day meets a girl that she wants that she starts going camping together with. I think that's what the, the synopsis was. I'm personally not a huge fan of camping, but regardless, I feel like I could get a lot of enjoyment from watching cute girls camping together in the form of an anime. The only way to know for sure is to get into it though, so let's do that. Let us begin in three, two, one, play. So right, starting off camping. <laughs> But she's clearly not alone, so... <laughs> like we're just kind of watching the fire instead of their faces. <laughs> really? I had no idea that was the case. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, actually, it's all four of them. So I wonder if I'll just get a flashback to show us how they got to this point. Because it's not the series that began just with Rin camping by herself. <laughs> I'll admit, Rosie and Marshmallows is a, one of really fun aspect of camping. <laughs> and then the opening. A mustache? <laughs> like it was just a mustache, no face or anything. Oh, that was great. I like the opening so far. Yeah, I believe that's Nadeshko. The others ones that I don't really know their names. I know Ren's the main girl. But I'm not sure which one's Ren. Very interesting way to handle like, the credits. Was that, a, was that a rabbit? What was that? And apparently they're going to go camping in space. And it's a good thing to dress warmly because space is very cold. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the studio that's behind this one, I don't actually know much about them. I think I've only seen like one show that they did. Seikoku no Dragonar, something like that. Which was an... That was okay. Okay, so I think it was a dog with fake rabbit ears. I bet there's a story behind that, but... You can do it. I feel like I've seen that exact road in a lot of anime. Or this one similar to it. But yeah, you can tell it's quite cold because of her breath. It's a pretty nice scenery though, which I was kind of expecting in an anime like this. I can understand a little bit of hesitation before going into a dark tunnel alone. But she didn't make it to the other side, so it all worked out. I personally wouldn't go camping if it was that cold. <laughs> but it can't hide from you. <laughs> uh, where are you sleeping exactly? Because you really shouldn't sleep outside in this kind of cold. <laughs> I don't think she expected to see that today. I 
A specific way to start recording until everyone left, and yet I hear the front door open. I swear to God. Yeah, Odin. I figured she was, but good to have confirmation on that. <laughs> Just don't burn down the forest, okay? That's all we ask. He's not going to stalk her, is he? <laughs> I know, right? It's so cold. <laughs> Indeed. Tougher than I am. Not that that says a lot. <laughs> that mountain's still hiding behind the clouds. Just don't go swimming. Well, if you want to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because nobody's here. Is she going to go swimming? Because she's almost rich like she's going to, but I don't know. I mean, camping by yourself would be a little bit rough because you would have to set up everything by yourself. And I have went camping before because my family liked to do that like a once a year thing during the summer, so. I just never liked doing it. It's not like I didn't get any intro man about it at all, it's just I didn't think it was worth it. There's a lot of setting up, a lot of taking down. Of course, if she invited me to go camping with her, I'd probably go for it, but... You know, assuming she was willing to set everything up for me. You know, do all the legwork. Yeah, those, but those warm pouches would be a good thing to have, yeah. I know I saw it was another anime or something, but I can't place it. Of course, you only have one character on screen. It's pretty quiet. <laughs> oh, wow. That is cold. <laughs> but you asked for this. <laughs> I think it might be worth it, though. You know, if the alternative is freezing to death. You don't have fur like he does. <laughs> she gave up. I'm okay. I'm getting the firewood. <laughs> Thank you for explaining to me what a pine cone is. I had no idea. Okay, that I didn't know. <laughs> I guess I've been, you know, narration kind of helps fill the silence. <laughs> it's better to have too much than not enough. Well, that I knew. Yeah. <laughs> See, there's some very large wood or a very small girl. I would never buy firewood. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I feel like she's getting too into that. But be careful. <laughs> uh, tucker yourself out. Well, you're outside, so anywhere is the bathroom, pretty much. 
Just not on the stack of firewood, because I'd be kind of productive, and she's still sleeping. <laughs> she moved a little bit, but she's still sleeping. <laughs> I wonder if Ren's got some, like, cooking food, and she'll just show up, and she wants some. But don't set yourself on fire. <laughs> now I feel bad for the pine cone. <laughs> well, yeah, you want to give it air, but you don't want to suffocate it by blowing too much. <laughs> I think you'll survive. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can help warm you up if you really want. Or the other girl could. That'd probably be better. <laughs> I'm camping, but I'm bringing my smartphone with me. <laughs> I reply. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just that's the dog with the opening with the rabbit hats. The rabbit hats. The rabbit ears hat. But yes, I give the impression it'll be a very relaxing kind of slice of life anime. I believe it was labeled as a comedy, but there hasn't really been a huge amount of that yet. Which makes sense. There's only one person. There's only so much you can do there. But even if it does lean more to the slice of life than it does comedy, I'm fine with that. Yeah, many hours seem to have passed. <laughs> Outside somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it is starting to get a little bit dark out. I wonder if the other girl is still sleeping there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Looks like she's gone, yeah. <laughs> she goes back to her tent and she's sleeping inside of it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Don't you fuck! Was not ready for a jump scare. <laughs> Neither was she. <laughs> I'm not good with jump scares, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder what she's so upset about, though. I guess she just doesn't. Because she slept longer than she meant to, and it's all dark and scary now. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is she really gonna want to travel at night? Yeah, I didn't think so. She wants to sleep in a tent with you, and I'll cuddle up. <laughs> it's my for some. The way she said smartphone was adorable. I don't think that's it. <laughs> I just love Rin's responses to her silliness. <laughs> oh wow, a bit pricey. <laughs> Payments for ramen. Yeah, I figured.
Is there pouring water that captivating? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this isn't her first time doing this. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do with her? <sighs> and of course, I'm going to be watching a ramen anime after this. Well, yeah. I knew she'd be impressed by the fire. But again, you could just cuddle up together for warmth. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but... I want to wait for it to cool a little bit. I mean, blowing on it works too. <laughs> you know, it's not gonna, no one's gonna take it from you. You can slow down a bit. <laughs> It's so much animation just for eating ramen. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Because it was worth it. And meanwhile, she eats a ramen like a normal person. That's a safe assumption. Yeah, but seems a lot more together. I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure you're about the same age. From the bottom. Uh, so that's why you came here. Can you see it now? <laughs> yeah, I figured. Just turn around. And there you go. You can see Mount Fuji properly. No mean cloud to block your view. <laughs> Mount Fuji says hi. What? Oh. But not your own. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry for my stupid little sister. <laughs> wow, she even got a bit of a head explosion there. Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit bad for her now. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, as it does. Yeah, sisters being sisters. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. I asked my sister for my phone number. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure they'll have nice lots lots of nice camping adventures together. I got the sentence out eventually. Yeah, that's a spirit. Are they going to be going to the same school? Because she's impressionable and now wants to be a camper. <laughs> Almost like you're by a campfire or something. Either that or she was secretly smoking in the woods. One of the two. Are we really almost done with the episode? That was like 10 minutes. It's funny how our first time meeting her was her sleeping. Well, unless you count the very beginning where it showed the four of them all together before it rewinded for us to be able to see how they all met. Very nice music, though. Everybody else is walking like a normal person and she just runs past them. It's interesting how the show clearly begins in winter. I feel like that's pretty uncommon for anime. <laughs> I can tell by all the scarves you're all wearing. Yep, same school, of course. And they just barely miss each other. But she can sense her presence. <laughs> Outdoor Activities Club. <laughs> well, very few people are crazy enough to camp during winter. Yeah. Probably pricey. <laughs> uh, it's basically, I was about to say, it's basically a Kotatsu. I was about to say that right before they actually mentioned it and showed it. But yeah, the Outdoor Activities Club, that should be fun. Giving us some camping advice. So that was the first episode of Yudo Camp. And yeah, the episode did begin with all the girls camping, but then went to do a quick rewind type thing to show us how they all met and got to that point. Because initially it was just Rin camping by herself, which she was doing in this episode. For some reason she likes to camp in the off-season during winter. I assume, I don't think they actually said it, but I assume because it, that way nobody else is around and she can just kind of be by herself. And she apparently has this nice little spot that she likes to go to with a, by the lake with a good view of Mount Fuji. You know, when the clouds aren't blocking it. And yeah, she's all prepared. She's got everything. She's clearly experienced. And I guess it's kind of funny she didn't want to make a campfire because she was just listening to all these negatives to it. But in the end, she did it anyway because, you know, don't want to die of hypothermia. But, and yeah, it was interesting how they give you 
how they had like narration giving you camping tips like about firewood and pine cones and all that. So you do get to learn a little bit about camping if you are into that kind of thing. And she like, I think she saw uh, Nadish Nadishka, I think her name is, at least three times, just like in various times, she would just kind of sleep in, in the cold, because that's a good idea. And eventually she just ends up flat out jump scaring her at night. And just, she kind of brings her back to her place, sort of, and feeds her and... Initially, she was going to charge her for it as a joke, but she didn't even have that much money, so it didn't really work out. But I guess she was willing to do, you know, 15 payments for a cup of ramen. Luckily, she didn't have to. And apparently, Nadishko also came there, you know, to see Mount Fuji, and she was able to do that as well. So, this actually worked out pretty well for Nadishko, because she got to meet Rin, got food, got to see Mount Fuji, and was able to call her sister in the end to get back home, though her sister was not very happy about the situation, clearly. And the two of them did end up obviously being part of the same school. And near the end there, they showed us the Outdoor Activity Club. A couple of girls from that. I assume Rin and Nadeshko will end up joining that. But that would be four girls, and I think we saw five in the first segment. So that would leave one more girl. I don't know who that one was. Maybe it was the girl that Rin was texting in the first half of the episode. I don't know. But yeah, I actually did quite enjoy this. It was very relaxing. Very nice scenery, nice music to all help with that relaxing feel to it. And I do quite like the two main girls that we saw. I really enjoyed that scene with Nadeshko when she kept saying smartphone while looking for it. Just the way she said smartphone was just so cute. Smartphone, 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 smartphone. Then she pulls out a deck of cards. Because that's much more likely to be something you'd have over a smartphone. In any case, I am quite looking forward to the next episode. So, thank you for watching. And thank you, Snoky, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.